We were on our way to the Krakarov volcano in Russia. While looking over what little information I had on the final member of the Fiendish Five, I began to notice something. In the four parts of the Thievius Raccoonus recovered so far, several of the pictures depict a shadowy owl-like figure, which looks very similar to the police images of the mysterious clockwork. Is this a strange coincidence, or is there something I'm missing? doesn't look tall enough for the turret to make it all the way through! We've got to get through that security door on the far side of the cavern. The only way to unlock it is to analyze at least 60 of those hanging computers. Would have been easy to get at them if Murray hadn't thrashed our new turret. Yeah, won't be a problem. I can hack the computer's connection coupling so they'll fall to the ground. Then, Murray will have to run over them with the van. Okay, and Murray, remember to use our new battering ram by hitting the square button if anyone tries to keep you from those computers. Murray, there are only 119 computers up there, and these fire slugs seem intent on getting to them before us. The first one to 60 computers wins!
enough data to open the security doors. Just past them is the control room to Clockwork's Death Ray Tower. I think it's time for some Cooper thieving and sabotage. Don't you think, Sly? Careful, Sly! Those tiles are booby-trapped! You better get out of there! Hold on. That's Carmelita. She looks trapped. Serves that cop right. She's been dogging us from the start. It's just a misunderstanding. We've got to free her. Are you crazy, Sly? Clockwork probably stuck her there to trap you! But if I don't do anything, Carmelita's doomed. Besides, stealing just won't be any fun without her. Sly, your ridiculous raccoon logic sends shivers up my shell. But if you're determined to go through with this, that barrel will undoubtedly help. Though I have no idea how you'll get up there. Dude, a spire jump here, a rail slide there. I've done this a million times. Cooper, I should have known you were behind this. You got me wrong, Miss Fox. I'm here to rescue you. <laughs> you sentimental fool. Empathy has always been the downfall of the Cooper clan. I knew this was a trap. Looks like I'm going to have to do some fast and furious hacking to shut down that gas before Sly's brain is turned to cheese. Haven't had to do this in a while. Okay, I used the left analog stick to steer and the right analog stick to unleash my hacker code. Those green data packets need to be destroyed if I'm gonna get at the yellow security code. Uh-oh, looks like I triggered one of Clockwork's security algorithms. Stay sharp, Bentley.
lie, I was wrong about you. Break me out of this force field by smashing its base, and I'll make it up to you somehow. I don't get it, Cooper. I've hunted you for years, tried to throw you behind bars, but when you get a chance to leave me in a cage, you set me free. Why? Mm, Carmelita, we may be on opposite sides of the law, but you're not my enemy. Now, the homicidal robotic owl that built this death ray and nearly gassed us to death? That guy's on my list. I see your point. All right. Until clockwork and his evil schemes are destroyed, I suggest we work together. Together at last. <laughs> Huh? Wait! I need that cane. It's been in my family for generations. Don't worry, Ringtail. I'll cover you while we get it back. If you can, make your way to the top of the death ray. I stashed my jetpack there before Clockwork nabbed me. Now that we're a team at all, I need to leave your side. Hold on. This truce is only temporary. Once we beat Clockwork, I'm coming after you. Really? Well... Maybe I'll give you a 10 second head start. So that was you in the background of all those old pictures when the Thievius Raccoonus. 
How old are you? Perfection has no age. What? You're immortal? Revenge is the prime ingredient in the fountain of youth. I've kept myself alive for hundreds of years with a steady diet of jealousy and hate, awaiting the day when I will finally eclipse your family's stinging reputation. Slide! My missiles don't hurt him but seem to create holes in his armor. Shoot into the gaps I create! You're the weakest Cooper I've yet encountered. You cannot escape me, Cooper Raccoon. You're so familiar with my family. You must have known my father had a son. If you hated the Cooper so much, why did you let me live when you stole the Thebius Raccoonus? Because I wanted to show the world that without your precious book, the Cooper line was nothing. Ah, well, there's where you're wrong. The Thebius Raccoonus doesn't create great thieves. It takes great thieves to create the Thebius Raccoonus. Enough, sly Cooper. It ends here. I will finish you like I finished your father. Then the Cooper line will be erased and the only master thief will be Clockwork. My intellect is refined. My experience is greater. My skills are superior. I am. Blue Seven. Flowers. Never. Lava Team. Play. I will become. Feet together. I will live. Redirect energy. Power cells alignment sequence initiated. Cooper! You will never be rid of me. Clockwork is superior. It took some tricky maneuvering, but I managed to snatch that last piece of the Thievius Raccoonus from Clockwork's claw. I had taken down each member of the Fiendish Five. Raleigh, Mugshot, Ms. Ruby, the Panda King, and finally Clockwork. I'd beaten them all one by one and reclaimed my birthright. Of course, there was no way I could have gotten here without the help of my pals. I know this hasn't been easy for them, but they stuck with me through it all. <laughs> Murray. Boy, it took a lot of guts for him to get out in the field with me. I know he was scared, but he's got more heart than anyone I've ever known. And thank goodness for Bentley. Without his expertise, I'd have never found my way off that rooftop in Paris. A guy couldn't ask for a better gang of friends. <laughs> Who could ever forget the lovely Carmelita?
Looks like we're not going to be friends anymore. Now that Clockwork's death ray is out of commission, we're back to playing cops and robbers. I thought for sure she was going to slap the handcuffs on me right then and there. But instead, she was true to her word and gave me that 10 second head start. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, One. I felt bad leaving her stranded on that giant rock, but I knew it wouldn't be long before we'd see each other again.